So people at Star Wars Celebration got to see this episode early and we've heard good things. So I'm really hoping it was worth getting out of bed so early for. Um, you know, with only two episodes left, I'm really hoping these episodes are just bangers. Because uh, compared to what we've gotten with season one and season two, this season, it's, you know, it's been fun. But it hasn't compared to, you know, uh, the craziness of the earlier two seasons, at least for me. So I'm hoping that, you know, the last two episodes, you know, like I said, I I want something special. I want something amazing, you know? So um, we'll have to be patient and just see how it plays out. This episode's longer than what we've gotten. It's about 53 minutes. So uh, we'll see how it plays out. But uh, we got another episode after this. Don't know how crazy that's going to be, but whew, I'm looking forward to it. So again, if you're new, subscribe. Welcome. We got a lot of other things that we are going to be uploading. So be ready stay tuned and um yeah i don't know what else to say so again if you're new subscribe like help your boy out yeah let's get busy i really don't know why but like out of all the times we've woken up so early today was the hardest <laughs> i didn't want to get up coruscant right yeah uh yo i don't like how they keep focusing on this person they're annoying <laughs> i don't like her Oh no. Oh, here we go. Moth Gideon, sure. alright, man. Sir, I'm afraid the pirates have run into trouble on Navarro. To suggest oh, that look the at New him. Republic would not be sending support? Sheesh. It wasn't the New Republic. Which Mandalorians? All of them. I shall deal with our Mandalorian friends. Where is this dude at? Hey, yo. Hey, <laughs> More of this cloning stuff, bro. I'm so excited to get to the bottom of all of this. You're a citizen loyal to the Empire on every Oh, no. Oh, no. They will oh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready. I'm excited. And Admiral Thrawn's return will herald in the emergence of our military. Huts. Enough time to deliver on Project Hux? Necromancer. Any word on when he will be able to participate in the Shadow Council? Oh, yeah. Huh. Project Necromancer is a place for that. Necromancer, yes. okay. Some See, this is kind of interesting considering that, you know, we've seen the rebels work in the shadows for so long. So to see the Empire have to do it, it it's fun, it's fun. Creation of clones is your obsession, not mine. I account for what goes on in my sector. Oh, man. No more. Of course. That's right. Yes. And yet... I don't remember his suit looking this cool last, uh, before, right? Looks like someone is concerned about an assassination attempt. And he thinks I'm being the flashy one. And... They're pushing their luck. No security concern. Mandalorians. What? Certain Mandalore would hamper our efforts. Which is oh, why yeah. We need to stand oh, they're worried. Oh, that's awesome. You'll have your reinforcements. <laughs> they shut up gone. real quick, bro. Live the Empire! Long live the Empire! Ooh. Ooh. Alright, fun little start. <laughs> and now the next 30 minutes is gonna be just. Nonsense. <laughs> Fun nonsense, nonetheless, but still. Oh, this is their ship. Oh, yeah. So all of them are going to end up finding uh, shelter on Navarro. So that's pretty awesome. He's like, shit, not again. Oh, man. Look at that, bro. That's so awesome. a light cruiser in second. Look at the markings. Oh, that's Those fire. Mandalorian <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man, I'm so excited to see the clash between both of them. Oh, this is going to be ooh, interesting. What a cool shot, too, man. <laughs> yeah, this is really cool. I hope these two groups get along. <laughs> Friggin' Grogu. They've never met. <laughs> Take the children inside. Dude's already expecting beef. <laughs> he really sent the children away. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so cool, man. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're marking their territory. <laughs> Come on, somebody just... Hello. Oh, there it is. Well, 
Welcome, fellow Mandalorian. Um, I don't know how to feel right now. I'm so tense. <laughs> They're like, wow, no one died. <laughs> IG. Oh, <laughs> he's not crazy. Grief got a big ass uh, ego. You see the little statue of himself on the corner? Is he being controlled by an alien? Yeah. Down to his base motor functions. They He's like, nah, nah. I know who you are. This way. Bad baby. Bad baby. Well, he's too little to operate this. No, 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 no. Oh wow, that's awesome. I didn't even. My brain didn't even process that. No way. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No way. <laughs> like what? Uh -huh. So what do you think? You got to give that Mandalorian gear. They do nice work. I'll give them that. Operate heavy machinery. No, we'll Maybe see. when he's older. No. Oh. No. no. <laughs> this is how he's communicating. He's no way. He's old enough to operate it. Yes. <laughs> no way. No. No. At least let <laughs> oh, him try out little shit. Yes. Oh. Hey. oh, this is goofy, bro. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh my god. Yes. Oh, this is kind of fun. I like this. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> nah. No. Yes. Hey. Oh no. Give it no. This isn't working for me. <laughs> Wait, are they eating the baby dragons? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sasha Banks. Oh no, they're they're both ready. Mandalore. I need volunteers from both tribes. Obviously Vizsla, Dave, will go. Wolf, and Sasha Rogue Banks are gonna well. be part of the crew. Grogu as well, yes sir. <laughs> There she is. Oh man. I will go. I really enjoy this uh, little theme that they they've played throughout the series. I will go. Yep. Mm -hmm. I will go. <laughs> I will go. I will go. Oh yeah. I will go. I will go as well. Oh man, I'm I'm really excited. This is picked up for me. Like, I really mess with this theme, dude, for real. Uh, oh, this is cool, man. Nah, that's quite a fleet. Still in his little Mechazord. I was here when it happened. Ah, uh, dude. I always enjoy these, uh, scenes. With them jumping out of the ship. Superhero landing. Form up. Oh, she's excited. The horizon. I wonder if we'll see him take off his helmet at all this season. I mean, the first two seasons, he's had at least an episode taking it off. So I'm not sure if they'll do it again. Hey, yo. Are these... Are these Mandalorians? Oh, no. Nah, I don't know how this is going to play out. Uh... What is going on? We knew you would not forsake us, Lady bo -Katan. We have failed you. Oh, man. The There's still people here. This service. is cool. <laughs> See, because we refuse to surrender. That's not true. Oh, no. You know, she has to be honest with them. There's no way. In exchange for submitting to the Empire and disarming, all remaining cities and Mandalorian lives were to be spared. That is how Moff Gideon came to possess the dark saber. Oh, that jackass! I don't know if I can keep everyone together. What means more to me is honor and loyalty and character. These are the reasons I serve you, Lady Kreez. A word? Your song is not yet written. <laughs> I will serve you until it is. <laughs> She's like, okay, maybe I got this. Hey, here we go, man. Oh, they're gonna get, they're gonna fight over a board game, bro. This is where someone gets triggered. <laughs> you can't move an enforcer like that. 
<laughs> oh no. But only the wing guard can flank jump. Oh no, they're about to the fight over a space like chest. When it's flanking. These primitives make up their own rules for everything. No way, dog. Really? Seriously. <laughs> Sometimes fighting's the only way y'all can move on, so scrap it up. Oh no. Nah, she knows it too. She's gonna let it happen. It was bound to happen sooner or later. Yep. <laughs> the two top dogs too, bro. Ooh. She's like, really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Grogu. No, no. 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 <laughs> He's like the kid's right. Is that right? <laughs> oh, that's great. You taught your apprentice well. Oh, my me. cheeks are. This is great, bro. That's something that that's not even a robot. That's something that's alive. Like. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> they're helping him. All right. I was like, he can't fly. Oh no, dude. Oh, this is so cool seeing so many of them together. There's more? More survivors. No. Nope. Oh, this is Moff Gideon's. Oh shit. All right. Oh shoot. Hey, so they're looking out for each other here, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Oh, I'm just waiting for a character to get murked. Someone is gonna die here, bro, I swear. Okay, kid. You've gotta keep up. Cause I got you. <laughs> hey. If he doesn't have the saber, I hope he gets the uh the staff back at least. Oh, this is where the oh place? shit. <laughs> no! No! Look at him! <laughs> Holy shit! That's a dope ass suit! Oh no! Oh, are they gonna take off his helmet too? Oh, this son of a bitch! <laughs> Thank you for gathering the Mandalorians into one place. Mandalore will live on in me. <laughs> ah, dude. Rich oh, such an upgrade I from what we've gotten this season. Oh, shit, dude. Bo Katan. We have to stop meeting like this. <laughs> it's so annoying. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> I believe this is the part where you return the Dark Saber to its rightful. Come get it, pussy. No. <laughs> Open the blast door. Oh, shit. Fall back. I'll cover the rear. No, no. Oh, no. I knew one of them wasn't going to make it out. Ah! We're not leaving you behind. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh! This is the way. Ah, <laughs> you crazy god, dude! Oh, that's tough. Oh man, I really hate to see him go, bro. 
<laughs> He's a big guy, dude. <laughs> Come on. Oh, who's left? Oh no! <laughs> what is going on, bro? Holy shit, what an episode, man! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh no! Ah! Uh. F in the chat for Big Vizla over here. Oh, man. So there we go, guys. Uh, that's the end of that episode. And we knew we were going to be getting Moff Gideon back. And um, honestly, yeah, I mean, with two episodes left, it makes sense for it to happen here. But, you know, just, I don't know. It feels like it just happened abruptly, which I'm not complaining. But it was just, it was a, it was a cool little surprise. It just kind of came out of nowhere. And compared to every episode that we've gotten this season, this episode, in my opinion, blows them all out of the water. I mean, this is just I don't know, this is what I, I want in a Mandalorian episode, you know? I just, the craziness, the action, I mean, I don't know, just seeing uh, Din kind of moving in the hallways, you know, with his blaster, just, it, it felt like we've seen it before, like the same vibe. So, I mean, it was cool to see. I do want to say that, um, I don't know, I feel like, uh, uh, you know, well, every season we've gotten this dude unmasked, so, I mean, if he does get unmasked, I honestly thought it was going to happen in this episode for, for a second. When they had him on his knees, I really thought they were just going to take off his helmet. But um, with one episode left, I do you guys think it's going to happen? I don't really care if it does or not, but I'm, I'm just interested to hear what you guys have to say specifically. But I don't know. There's a lot to be excited about, uh, you know, with one episode left. Um, the one thing is, it's like, uh, I don't want to keep saying, I know, you know, I, I love... A lot of the things I watch so I usually I'm not usually one to complain about anything it doesn't matter if it's Disney it doesn't matter if it's DC it doesn't matter what it is I'm usually just not one to complain uh, unless it's really really bad but um you know like I've enjoyed what we've gotten but you know it's, it, it just brings that question you know with uh between season one and two we only had to wait like a year you know but between season two and three we had to wait two years so it just you know brings in the question was this season worth a two-year wait you know like did we get what we wanted within that two like you know what i'm saying like was it worth the hype or worth the wait and um you know like i said the first like six episodes it, it, it was fun but i don't know if i'd be like yo i'd wait a whole another two years for something of this you know level so um hopefully the next episode is insane because i really want to be able to say season three was solid you know and uh you know i really want to be like this is this has been crazy so I'm hoping that, the like, the next episode has the same create level of hype as this one did. Because this one really did, uh, you know, bring me back to, to, you know, the reason why I love this show. Because it was just the craziness behind it. Uh, the Like, all different types of emotions that shit had me feeling, you know. Like, uh, all, 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 you know, pissed off, you know, sad because of, you know, seeing the big guy go, you know. Just being worried, you know, seeing Moff Gideon pop up, you know, like, I don't know, there's just so many things about this episode that was, you know, it was really fun, and the fact that it was a 50-minute episode and it doesn't really feel like that, I don't know, they did a really good job with it, we start off, of course, on Coruscant with that annoying lady, um, the one that obviously was working for Moff Gideon, and we see her actually go on a call with Moff Gideon, so this is the first time we see Moff Gideon since, uh, the season 2 finale, which, again, we knew he was appearing. I remember he did announce... He's announced it, too. I mean, I remember... I went to Fan Expo in Boston uh, last last year. And he was there and he was talking about, you know, how he... Uh, I'm pretty sure he did say he had a, a, a saber duel. Maybe I'm tripping. I, I remember him saying something. But I know he was just talking. So, I mean, uh, talking about how he was going to be coming back. All that nonsense. So, I'm just really excited to see what, you know, this uh, means, you know, for the finale or whatever. Because... Uh, I'm like, okay, Moff Gideon is going to be, you know, maybe the big the big bad. So how is this going to play out? Because we already had to deal with him in the last season. And um, now, you know, there's more to it. You know, he has a whole little army of, you know, Beskar troops, uh, you know, troops in Beskar armor. So, uh, of course, it, you know, brings a little level of, you know, danger. I don't know. It's a little crazy. But, um, and then he has his own suit, which, again, was really, really cool. Um, at first glance, it kind of reminded me of, uh, you know, how some of the the 
people that when Maul was in charge, how they had the little kind of like the spikes, like the crown or whatever, if you will. Um, I that's what it looked like at first, but it turns out there's only like three. But still, I mean, at first glance, that's the like kind of like the vibe I got. Uh, you know, it being all black, it's just I don't know the craziness. I don't know, it looks so cool in my opinion. Um, so I am really looking forward to seeing, uh, you know the, the you know the action in the next episode. Uh, don't really know what to expect, honestly. I mean, I, I don't know if we're gonna get a conclusion if he's gonna be finally taken out. I don't know what's going on, um, so we'll have to just wait and see, but, yeah, I mean, we end up also having, um, you know, like I said, when Gideon appeared, we got, like, the Shadow Council, so it was really cool to kind of see the Empire kind of working in the shadows, if you will, because when the Rebels were, you know, of course, trying to make their, uh, you know, kind of, when they try to take down the empire and do all that nonsense they were doing the same shit they had to work in the shadows they didn't really have the advantage you know they they couldn't do what you know the empire uh did because empire you know of course they were in charge and now it's the other way around the new republic is in charge the empires you know there's just little remnants of the empire around there's you know they're just there's i don't know it's just crazy to kind of see them having to be the ones that are hiding you know and it was just it was fun like i said because we've we've seen the rebels have to experience that so it was just a little change of of pace i thought it was cool um so we end up going back of course to navarro we end up seeing um of course grief again seeing all the mandalorians again just having the mandalorians kind of approach each other that alone was just extremely tense because we know that there's beef there we know that there's something like just, just a lot of stuff going on there so I, I expected things to be crazy, I don't know, but I was just really looking forward to seeing how it played out, and just the energy that was, you know, being thrown, or just, that we got in that scene alone, it was just, it was crazy, and I knew that the top dogs were going to be the ones that were going to be, you know, beefing up the most, and that specifically, you know, uh, Sasha Banks' character, we have Wolf, we have uh, Vizsla, we have, you know, of course, I knew the armor was going to be as civil as she possibly could, but I was really excited to see them specifically, and even when we were going on the mission to Mandalore, I knew they were obviously going to be the ones involved. And um, for Wolf and Vizsla to actually scrap it up and to, to fight a little bit, it made sense. You know, it's like one of those things where it needs to happen in order for them to move on. And uh, I feel like uh, people, I mean, I, I, I feel like from personal experience, I mean, uh, especially with dudes. I mean, when it comes to, um, you know, uh, I know when I was younger, I mean, if I had a problem with somebody or whatever, we just didn't like each other. If we've, you know, if we kind of fought it out, I mean, it ended up, I know this is like terrible advice, but specifically coming from them, it just, you know, it sometimes works out and you, it, you know, you just, it, it's different. But, um, to see them kind of, uh, uh, you know, get mad over, specifically the big guy getting mad over such a small thing over the friggin', um, uh, the little game, uh, you know, gave me some Chewbacca vibes of obviously with him you know, throwing fits over losing to, like, C-3PO or something like that. It was just, it was just funny because it's like this dude really pulled out a knife after losing to, you know, um, a Wolf. And it was just, it was so unnecessary. And even even Wolf said it, he's like, yo, really? <laughs> like, really? <laughs> it's like, y'all, you want to kill me because I said you can't move that beast? And um, it was just, it was really funny. I thought that was a really cool scene because it was like, it wasn't like he was really mad at the the game it was like the it was just something that was bound to happen like this is just something like he, he needed an excuse to you know get this up and running so it was just it was interesting to, to you know for sure but um of course we have that moment with grief he ended up you know bringing up that he has a uh, ig he brought you know the ig unit back together he took out the memory core or whatever so it's no longer a threat we have the uh and i feel like i'm always saying it wrong but he's controlling it and then we find out that he you know they remote controlled it so um we have grogu in the front seat now and it's it's cool to actually see him able to kind of uh, uh you know i don't know what the word is but like he's able to control it and all that nonsense we of course see him actually break up wolf and uh Vizsla, which of course uh just kind of shows you know where his character is you know uh we even have Bo who said oh you tr you know you trained your apprentice well it's like oh well you know, he's, he hasn't just been watching me, yada, yada, yada. Um, so it's been cool to actually see moments like that. But, um, you know, I, I did I did appreciate that. I thought that was really cool. Uh, but, yeah, to see him actually being able to control and to keep up. And, you know, I feel like it's a lot safer with him in 
uh, you know, the, the IG unit than he would be, you know, in that little ball of his. So, um, it's definitely interesting for sure. Um, we end up, of course, getting everyone to go back to Mandalore. We see Mandalorians already on Mandalore. So, of course, we didn't see that when we first appeared uh, at, at Mandalore earlier in the season. So, that was interesting. But to see, like, there's actually a whole bunch of them. And they've been there since, you know, uh, the Night of a Thousand Tears. It's, it's just, in it's interesting, you know. And, uh, of course, we have them explaining. We have uh, Bo-Katan explaining what happened. That she had to actually you know, give up, uh, uh, and she had to surrender, all that nonsense, there was just a lot to it, and, you know, like I said, it was just, it's, it's heartbreaking, considering some of these dudes are in terrible shape, so to see how far things have happened, and, or how bad things have gotten, or whatever, it's, I don't know, but I'm really excited to see them kind of take it back, and, um, you know, of course, we have to take on Moff Gideon and his crew in the next episode, and I'd love for season four to start off with, you know, them actually building homes or whatever, just rebuilding Mandalore as a whole, and uh, for more Mandalor Mandalorians across the uh, galaxy to know that Mandalore is safe, and for them to just come back and just be, it's, it'd be really, really cool to see, you know, and, um, you know, uh, we know that, you know, with Celebration, they announced some, you know, bigger projects, such as a, a movie directed by uh, Filoni, which, of course, will end up tying together all of the uh, Disney Plus shows that, you know, we've gotten, such as, like, Ahsoka, the big threat there, of course, The Mandalorian, and, and so, like, this leading to just such a big thing is something that I'm really excited for, um, so I'm just, I'm, I, like I said, I'm really excited to see what the future of, uh, The Mandalorian specifically holds, we have Ahsoka coming out, uh, later this year, which, of course, we're reacting to, there's just, I don't know, there's a lot to be excited for, and I'm really hoping that, you know, the, uh, episodes can just, Again, give me this level of excitement. As long as the episodes can be this crazy, give it to me. It's that simple. So um, we'll have to wait and see. But really excited. Hope you guys are, uh, you know, I hope you're enjoying the show. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you let me know. I enjoyed talking to you guys. Um, We might go live later today and just chill out and talk about the show. Um, Of course, we've been going live more on Twitch and um, uh, YouTube. So make sure you're following me on both because we have been going live sometimes on both but sometimes just on twitch just so we can just game or whatever but if we do go live soon it might be on youtube as well that way we can talk about the mandalorian and all that stuff but um yeah i mean just excited to post more content for you guys we caught up with a lot of schoolwork, so i do plan on getting some more content out for the youtube channel and that's just the goal but a big thank you to all of you guys you guys have been great i do appreciate the support everything and um yeah i'll see you soon you guys are great and uh Make sure you're checking out my other socials, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff. So uh, be ready and uh, stay tuned for more content. You guys are great. Peace out.